today we're taking apart this Epson XP4105 printer. The purpose of the video is just to show you where parts are located, how to get to a certain part, or just to show you how the printer is built. So don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, and we're going to get started right away. To do this job, we're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. I have a cordless drill that I have the Phillips head screwdriver tip on. Also, I need a a flathead screwdriver in order to remove some of the panels. First thing I did was set this carrier to this unlocked position just by doing the cartridge replacement and then unplugging the printer when the cartridge carrier is over here. That will allow me to move it back and forth but you don't want to push it very fast because that can, can burn your uh, print head or the main board. So be careful with that, especially when your printer is plugged into the wall still. So make sure you unplug it to do this. First, we're going to remove parts that don't need any tools. This is going to be the tray right here. That's where the paper lands. When it comes out, we're going to pull it out, press right in the middle, and then keep pulling it out. And it just comes out right here. You see this is what holds it back from falling out. Another easy part that removes and installs is this flap right here. If you're missing it, it's no big deal. It's just there for cosmetic purposes. So you're just going to kind of push up in the middle and get it out. It's held by these tabs on the right and left. When we go to the back of the printer, we have this back cover. We're going to press the tabs on the right and left, squeeze them in, and pull that out. This is a duplexer unit on this printer. And it also has the uh, support tray right here that holds your paper when you're loaded in the main tray. We're going to remove this. Uh, it's only held by a flathead screwdriver. That's the maintenance tank that collects waste ink. So we're going to unscrew that and just pull it back right here. go just kind of lift the printer a little bit and wiggle it out of there there we go and then we're just going to slide the uh, maintenance box out you see that's where the ink is collected now we're going to remove the side panels we're going to remove screws right here and here now we're going to put it on put the printer on its side there's tabs right here. I'm gonna pull them up. That's the screw right there that I missed right here. So we're gonna remove that screw. And then that should release our tray right here. So two screws per side. So let's go to the right side and it's that screw hidden right there. Remove that. And we're just going to go ahead and kind of pull this back. We also have the tabs on the bottom. It's these right here. They just press in this one and this one. There's also a screw right here. We need to, so on this side, it's going to be three screws. So when you remove the size, you already have plenty of access to a lot of things. If you feel like there's something stuck on the right or left side, same here. We even have a little bit of an access to the main board right there to see how our connections are. Now we can remove the screen. We're going to remove this screw right here. And then another one here. Then we can lift the top a little bit higher. We can just twist this one a little bit and remove it from there. It's kind of like an arm that holds the top cover open. And then since we have this already exposed, we can disconnect the wire going there so it doesn't rip. And that will allow us to open the, uh, the top cover. Let's remove it since we have it now. So when that's removed, these two disconnected, we can just push it to the left and we have our top removed. 
So as you can see here, we got it off. This top just contains the, um, the scanner module. You see it on the right. To get inside of it, you're gonna just remove screws on the perimeter. One, two, and then there's a screw right here and over there. And those need to be removed and you can just lift it and get inside of the glass. Now to continue with our screen, we're also gonna remove the screw right here. That will allow for this uh, kind of cover right here to be removed. And then you're just going to press on this side and remove it. That cover has this wire. That's the wire from the scanner, from the screen. So it's connected in here. And if you're just replacing the screen, um, you might have it disconnected there. But then you need to connect it by removing the screws and going inside of the housing here for the um, for the screen. But I just want to keep the cord together, so I'm just gonna like, remove it from the like it's stuck on here. So I'm just going to um, remove it there. We have it connected right here, so we're just gonna remove this here. It's looped around and connected to the main board. We need to remove the cover that's over here. So there's going to be a screw right in there. Over here, I just just removed it under this triangular part. Then screws right here and at the bottom. will allow this to be removed. We can remove this ground wire. And we can lift this piece over here. It's just held by this tab right here, so no screws on the right side. Now we can go ahead and disconnect our screen. It's right here. Then remove the rest of the loops. We're gonna lift it since we removed the four screws earlier. You can go here and then also in this on this side and remove the screws to remove this uh, piece right here. And you're just gonna continue on just feeding the wire through. So this is our screen, the wires to it. So now let's remove the power supply. You're gonna just get this screw out, remove this clamp, and just get it out of there and disconnect it right there. This is our power supply for it. Our main board is right here. Just gonna go ahead and disconnect everything. Just pull out right here. We have the wireless card right there. It can just stay on the printer unless there's a screw under it. Usually that might be the deal. So yeah, let's just pull the wireless card off because there's a screw right behind it. Um, let's disconnect this. And let's just start removing the screws. There we go. Let's remove this two over here. One up here. Gives us better access to that main board. So we're gonna remove this screw. We removed one there. Then to the, to get to this one, you can always go through the hole right here. And that just releases my main board. Here you go. And um, the wireless card goes back over here like so there we go so to get to the main pickup roller it's located right here we're not going to be taking it off 
wanted to show you how the print head is. So we're just going to remove these cartridges. Okay, so first we're going to go to this side. We need to remove this little plastic right here. There's a tab that's located right under. So this little piece right here needs to be pulled back and then push down on that plastic. Right there. Set that aside. So now right behind here we have this cord right here. So you'll see like uh, an, three wires. This one, this one, and this one. The wider one. So look, the ones that are m moving away, we don't need to touch those. But this right here, we need to disconnect. So it's this wire that I disconnected. It's connected to that port right there. Okay, let me move that out of the way. So it is connected to this port over here. That is the uh, cartridge chip reader. We need to remove this tiny plastic on the inside here. It's this one. So it'll be like a little button right here. You can see how it's moving. And you're going to, as you press that, you're going to pull up on, the, on this piece. And over here. There you go. That little piece removes. And now we can go ahead and push the buttons in here to remove this right here. After you remove that little plastic, you'll see how it's easier to access is these right here. This one and this one. After we remove that one, we have access to the print head. Let's go ahead and remove these three screws. Two in the back and one in the front. And now we can go ahead and pull the print head up. There we go. And we can just disconnect it right there. So this is the print head for it. And that's as far as we'll go. I hope this was helpful for you or entertaining. If so, please don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, check out other videos, and put your questions in the comment section below if you have any questions about this printer or any other that I can answer. I don't know everything, but I may be able to help some. Thank you so much.